And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the Heimer Abyss. We're going to be playing a Vi Heimer deck, but instead of heading on over to Targon to support our champions, we are going to be going to Freljord because we're going to be playing the Howling Abyss as another um, win con in the late game. So we have some pretty good win cons with this deck. You know, not only are Vi and Heimerdinger, especially Heimerdinger, really powerful champions that take over the game. We have the Howling Abyss that can make some more random level 2 champions for us. <laughs> Sorry, my puppy dog. Laying down. And then uh, we also have Feel the Rush. That's the other good part about Freljord in this kind of deck, is that's a, another way to find more Vi's and Heimerdinger. And of course, they both work well with Feel the Rush. Like, being a 10-10 for Heimerdinger is awesome at protecting it, allowing it to stay in, live, uh, stay in play longer. Making Vi a 10-10, of course, it wants to strike for 10 plus damage. But if it's a 10-10 to start with, it still gets the plus one, plus zero. Yeah, because it still maxes out at plus eight, plus zero. Right, so you can still keep on doing that. And everything. Um, <clears throat> yeah, everybody's running landmark removal these days, so the Abyss may, may not be that great. But, you know, like these are these are all, you know, like viewer submitted donation decks. And that was like the idea behind the, the person wanted to see the Abyss with these. And I think it should work out pretty well. So uh, Freljord gives us good interaction. We got some Frostbite spells. We got Flash Freeze. We got Harsh Winds. Those are going to be good. Uh, we got um, some good early stuff too. Averroes and Sentry, Averroes and Trapper, um, Kindly Tavern Keeper. It's important to have good early units also. So you're not just doing nothing until Heimerdinger and then they use their removal on your Heimerdinger, right? You want to put out like other things. Um, so I think this should work out pretty well, but... Let's go ahead and give it a try. We'll go play our five games in ranked. I guess not. Ooh. <clears throat> Frostbite cards will be important against Barrier. If they have River Shaper, I'm going to want Mystic Shot. But if they don't have River Shaper, I don't want Mystic Shot. So that's a difficult card um, to decide whether or not to keep or mulligan. I guess I'll keep it, because it's still good against a barrier as well. Alright, you're a little expensive, Field of Rush. Alright, channel point predictions are open. Hey, yeah, yeah, Spell Thief is good against Go Hard. Um, yeah, because especially because you can sometimes get Pack Your Bags with Spell Thief. Right, if you wait till after they play Pack Your Bags and Wipe Your Board, Strength then you Spell Thief and um, take Pack Your Bags and then play it on them and wipe their board also. That's pretty nice. I'll give it a try. I always like this music here on the PNZ board. I walk the space between worlds. Protect us, I really wish I could play in Rage Yeti and Vi this turn. It's just the problem is if I do play in Rage Yeti, I'm, I'm not really using my mana very well. I guess I do it though. I can still have Static Shock to break up a barrier. Yeah, like both of, both of them play into Repost, but this one, like we can we can trade in Rage Yeti and Static Shock for Repost and Shen. And that's not necessarily a bad trade. It's really appealing to just go Aftershock on the Shen. It keeps them from attacking in with it and he uses some mana for me assuming i'm going harsh winds next turn and it may not go i mean i guess i could go static shock next turn if we aftershock the shen well they can deny static shock i mean aftershock slow speed so i can't it can't blow up a barrier All right. Not a great turn for me. Not a great turn at all. Wish I would have just played Vi. We 
we swim within the flows of magic. I sense an imbalance. I find them unworthy. Not been the best turns. I'm doing this my way. I would like to draw Heimerdinger before casting these Flash of Brilliance if I had a choice. Punch it, eat this. Oh, I guess Repost does still kill the Vi. Mm. Okay. I don't know. Static Shock would still kill. I don't know. Kill my Trapper. They draw a card. With the River Shaper still. But yeah, maybe I should have gone with that over the Harsh Winds. No, I don't I don't think I should have attacked Yeti. I don't know. I'm I'm happy with that. I'm I'm happy with that. Show them what we're made of. I don't know, what are you made of? See, feel the rush they can deny. They can't deny the Howling Abyss. But of course, the Howling Abyss doesn't... Like, we have to also... Um... Yeah, it's kind of testing the waters with the Aftershock, see if they use, like, a barrier or something. Uh, testing the waters. It wasn't that that bad of a value though, because that that uh, river shaper was about to turn into a, a four two. It was going to get the plus one plus one with the Sithria, so it wasn't very likely my static shock was going to be able to kill it anyway. Keeping them from drawing extra cards, like that River Shaper drawing cards, is, is a big part of their deck. Well, I sure hope no deny. That was also me kind of testing out the waters to see if they had deny with that Static Shock. Awesome. No deny is big. Looks like they're going to be using single combat slash concerted strike. Gucci, thank you so much for getting out another sub to Nashor. Nashor getting awesome. sub. Y'all get some hype votes in the chat for our new sub. I long for a worthy opponent. Fiora. All right, what do we got here with these Flash of Brilliances? War Mother's Call. Progress Day. Maybe I should go Progress Day and put the 8-8 eight eight into play? Our wills align. I guess I, I wouldn't have room for an 8 8. Yeah, never mind. I wouldn't I wouldn't actually draw an 8 8. Interesting solution. Repost would give this plus six plus zero. So it would kill Heimer, but I have Troll Chant for protection.
That wasn't even killing... Oh, Concerted Strike. I thought that was single combat. <laughs> Sorry, my camera is like kind of in the, in the way. My bad, I thought that was single combat. Okay, well, it's a little bit worse. So while the Howling Abyss would be really good, I think that I, I want another Field of Rush the next turn. So I want to save spell mana for Field of Rush. There we go. Just get a couple more 10 tens. All right, Ezreal Draven. So basically, we're gonna have like, um, like, like they're gonna be doing like the Nexus damage. I'm, I'm worried about Captain Farron, probably more than anything else. We'll keep Heimer Flash of Brilliance. It's a good combo. Our Thermogenic Beam and our Aftershock are gonna keep these champions in check at the beginning of the game. These old eyes still see far and clear. Safeguard our homes. Boom. So I kind of want to just a mystic shot them. For the homestead. Seems to be the problem. Man, that's pretty awesome. Harsh winds from Flash of Brilliance. Trillion's got some good spells, you know. We had War Mother's Call last game. Harsh winds here this game. We have some good spells. Well, I would have rather had the Vi. Alright, so that that gets rid of that fearsome thing. In Avarosa's name. I don't really. I kind of want to keep aftershocks for like nexus damage. Ugh. I guess I gotta use them. Oh, I thought I was gonna have two mana still for troll chant. I wanted to keep troll chant available. Ooh, I was thinking you know like three and two. Okay, good. It's kind of the problem with these thermogenic beams. Is I don't want to tap out. <laughs> but I, I like no Captain Farron. I'd love to draw Howling Abyss or Feel the Rush. Yes, Howling Abyss, let's go. Howling Abyss is gonna be pretty sweet. It's Draven time. Oh, 
All right, let's get some cool level two champions. What do we got? Vladimir, six six regen. I'll take a six six regen. Watch and learn. Yep, we'll take that. Hello, my darling. And now, if they if they want to use like thermogenic beam and kill this, then I have like I have like Heimer with troll chant protection. Ticket to a battle royale. I'd prefer a battle of wits, but you're unarmed. Did have Captain Farron. Captain Farron, definitely the card I've been most scared of with all these decimates. Deal five? Come on. Wow, that was just a perfect turn for them. Captain Farron and five mana tri beam. Yeah, that's a perfect turn. Oh, come on. What a what a turn for them. I thought you'd never ask. All right, who's the Ezreal deck now? <sighs> Boo. So let's see, this is, so, okay. So this would be four damage to their Nexus, put him down to eight. Um, this is another two to put him to six. Another two to put him to, does Static Shock do? It's, no, it only does two, two total damage. There's fashionably late, and then there's this. Yeah, I mean those are the best cards they could have. No way. Sure, just hit a house spider. That's that's pretty nice. Flesh was weak, but look at me Man, they they have gotten some crazy stuff these last two turns. You're too expensive, Aurelian Soul. I can't play you. Farron's just gonna kill me. What? They had some some incredible ca cards in like the last two turns. It's too bad. So close, one point off. One point off, crazy. The lad does not heal our, it heals our Nexus if we have other things attacking alongside it, but we don't have anything attacking alongside it. This this can't, we can't play and get a Celestial card so that costs seven or more that heals the Nexus at, you know, like fast speed, there's, there's nothing there. Okay, prediction. I will start it. Okay, another Overwhelm deck. Flash Freeze, awesome. Um, they, they could have a bunch of small Noxus units where the Static Shock would be good. 
but also maybe you know also maybe not i don't know it's it's hard to say i just went ahead and mulliganed it this land is ours nothing escapes my watch that seems pretty good the winter's claw look out for reavers light the signal fires You go Conley Tavern Keeper and Block or Aftershock. I think the Tavern Keeper makes more sense, you know, because they can have troll they can have like troll chance. It keeps that alive. If I go Tavern Keeper, I can also have Flash Freeze to protect Tavern Keeper. We go where the War Mother peace. Just such Wani is the only champion. So obviously with the Outriders we can tell they're probably your allegiance. The problem is, is that that probably means like Enraged Yeti. Like if they just hit Enraged Yeti as an 8-8 Overwhelm, we're in a ton of trouble. That could definitely be what that means. Oh. That's an easy one to deal with. He said sarcastically. Many tribes under one banner. They've had a great hand. <laughs> you can see the Nebastian border from here. Leave nothing standing. Bring it. Ready the torches. Uh, the vault breaker is only plus two plus zero. Oh, I don't have the advantage to play it anyway. Alert the villains. I would have right there to take that out if I could have, but I don't have the mana. Yeah, I guess it's Trapper. It's it's enticing to play either Voices or Howling Abyss, either one. And while I could play a Harsh Winds here, I could use a basically I could use a Harsh Winds to level up Vi and kill Ruthless Raider. I I also still just don't think that's really worth it. Yeah, both of those were tempting, the Voices and and this, but I I think that we just need I think we need the blocker more so than anything else. Unfortunately, Over there. There's the one -two punch. unfortunately, there's a really good chance that this is the eight mana plus eight plus four card. And that if I do this, then we lose. I could do this and we don't lose to plus eight plus four. So maybe I have to do that. Not losing is better than losing. Yeah, Battle Fury. There's the one two punch. Not losing is better than losing. But if we're just trying to minimize losses, yep, they had Battle Fury. So good block by me. And that's that's the wrong play on them on the, the 8 4, right? Isn't that? Shouldn't they go over here on the Hearth Garden? So I can't play Vi. I have to play the Sentry so that I have 12 mana so I can feel the rush. Because they're just suiting up on like one big thing that just... I think that makes them more vulnerable to a Frostbite card. But I guess... I guess that is the Overwhelm thing, right? Like they just put on the Hearth Guard. I just block it with my 2-1. So I, I guess maybe they have to just go on the Overwhelm.
Going to be another close game. Nothing escapes my watch. I need to incentivize them into attacking, or at least not not incentivize them. Maybe these two should be switched and just kill the enraged yeti and keep my Heimer at ten ten. Just have you know like a ten ten for overwhelm purposes. <laughs> I'm gonna thermogenic beam and get the the challenger, right? Like yeah, so I, I get the zero mana challenger with the uh, with the Heimerdinger, and then you know just go straight to attacks and kill them. That stands for victory. And there we go, two and one. We needed we needed every single one of those frostbite cards. We needed every one. All right, so Z L Zoe Lee Sin. This is this would be another matchup where channel or sorry, another matchup where. Uh, Frostbite would be very important. But I kind of like this this opening hand. We'll just... Uh, just mulligan that field of rush. And I had... So I had throw a giant beam in case they had turn one Zoe. Can see the Devastian border from here. For the homestead. They got the goat. You want to trade your goat? Goat's a good card. Alright, Overwhelm Goat. We'll just get rid of that. Vicious. Overwhelm Goat's pretty good. Maybe we break up a barrier with a Mystic Shot. We could also Flash Freeze it. So put them down to three. Which is not very much life. Yeah, so options are, are try to Mystic Shot. That will put Vi up to 7, which would put this back down to 1, and then Thermogenic Beam afterwards. Or I think I may just Flash Freeze this, which would keep my Vi alive. Keep them at 3 with me having, you know, Mystic Shot and everything. Don't walk into a Deny Trap. I still have Harsh Winds. To stop that for a turn. Mystical levitation requires concentration. Um, I don't know. Killing that thing gives them all those gems, which is good for Lee Sin for like leveling up Lee Sin and everything, and like those cheap spells. Um, I don't think I want to give them all those gems and just give them those free cards, free spells to play. Celestial power. Yeah. 
Prepare yourself! <laughs> so are they grabbing flash freeze? That's all I played, right? They only have two mana though. Come on! The dragon spirit awakens! Alright, I guess I just Mystic Shot them right now while they won't have to die. I think it makes sense to... yeah, it makes sense to develop. Doesn't it? Yeah. Because they're already going to need, like, spells to stay alive anyway. I think it makes sense to develop. Barrier lifesteal is something that I'm a little worried about. But now, with playing the goat, if they have barrier lifesteal, they don't have deny. I mean, they could have nopify. Like, that would be the worst case scenario, is barrier lifesteal plus nopify. I guess that's still only seven. They'd have to block that. With my spirit, not my fists. Our enemies would be foolish to underestimate you. Yeah, like this is still lethal, they still have to play something else. Their heart beats quicken. The dragon binds us. Yeah. So I think it was good to develop because it's it, you know made them play like these other two cards. There we go. Three and one. GG's. Scouts. All right, let's see what we got. We got... Flash of Brilliance, that's going to get Mulliganed, and probably send both the Troll Chants back. The thing is, the Troll Chant is good, but I don't have any units to protect with it right now. Um, I could keep one. I'm kind of glad I didn't keep one, right? Like, this kind of stuff with... Uh, yeah, this kind of stuff would not be good with Troll Chant. But to be fair, this kind of stuff's just not going to be very good uh, for a while. Alright, going to try to protect my life total. Okay, that's a card I can play. I'll kill a misfortune. Or that thing. That thing attacks for four next turn. Right. Now they're gonna play Plaza? Okay, or Misfortune. That's alright, they both attacked for four. But that thing was gonna be multiple attacks. Wow. Yeah, that's good. I can't even cast Troll Chant. You have to you have to give the ally to this in order to do the, the other part, so I don't have an ally for that. Yeah, that was about as bad as it could, could go after I cast that Aftershock. Yeah, that was as bad as it could go. That has been a... It's been a regular story in some of these games, as bad as it could go. Dangerous water. I don't need a plan. Trouble coming at ya. Ooh. Jenny. That. Here we go. 
could even go troll chant. Yeah, I probably need to. Let's see, if I do that, I'll have seven. Yeah, so I'll still have eight mana, so I'll still be able to go Heimer, Flash. Next turn. Yeah. And then we have Harsh Winds on their attack. That thing's not very good. All right, yeah, I think I can just go Heimer Flash. This makes my next turn a lot better with my next turn being Tavern Keeper Harsh Winds. I guess I could go Aurora Porealis to level up the Vi. No, we'll see what they do. I could see them trying to use like some kind of pump spell here, maybe a repost. Okay. They would have that out, have harsh winds. Every wave is a path. You already have the attack token. What are you doing? Opponent, what are you doing? No. You already have the attack token. Banish the unworthy. I know they could kill the Heimerdinger, but it's all right. Heimerdinger already did its job. Coming to save the day. Come on, this game's pretty over now. Traded that thing for the purify. Any every like one for one trade, you know. Obviously, at this point of the game, every one for one trade is just a positive for me. There's the ground plaza. I really want to play this Howling Abyss, but it's it's obviously a lot better if I just go like Tavern Keeper, Trapper, Aurora Borealis, like this kind of stuff. Alright, I guess I'll do this kind of stuff. It's better for me to do that kind of stuff. Like, this puts us in a lot better position, like, healing, you know, healing the Heimerdinger and having these other four blockers in here. That puts us in a lot better position than just playing a Howling Abyss, but Howling Abyss is so much more fun. Getting level, you know, level two champions. That's really fun. Virtue guides me. Crumble.
It's always so satisfying to see the land seeing the landmarks destroyed. <laughs> Looks like we're gonna have another four and one. Back to back four ones. Gives me room to play these. Um, I'm sorry, Poros. You were cool. Another four and one. And that's a knockout. And that's a knockout. So yeah, this this deck felt really good, honestly. Like, you know, we didn't do that much with a Howling Abyss, but still just Heimerdinger with a bunch of Frelior cards and then also with Vi. Like, Vi was super clutch in a lot of those games as well. You have Aftershock being a great landmark removal spell. Um, yeah, a lot of stuff. Like, our one loss, a lot of things had to go right for my opponent with that one loss. Like, they had to have the, the you know, correct cards when they needed them. Feel the Rush also, just a perfect top-end card for Heimer Vi. Um... So I, I really liked how this deck felt. I think this deck was really good. Yeah, I could I could see this, you know, having continued success over the long haul. This de didn't really feel like a fluke um, in the slightest. Yeah, just I think this this honestly, like again, I think this could be maybe even a little bit better than the Targon version of Heimer Vi. Um, you know, again, you you probably don't need Howling Abyss, right? So if you want to if you want to make this deck as competitive as possible, you probably replace Howling Abyss with like a third Feel the Rush, and then. You know, some something else. Um, you could have. There's there's some good options here. You you while you could play give it all, you know, with your Heimer turrets. Again, that's probably not that necessary either. Even though give it all is great with Vi and stuff. I, you know, you could probably play like a progress day, right? Like so, if you don't if you don't want to play Howling Abyss to try to make it as good as possible, maybe like a progress day and another feel the rush, or you know, for other top end cards. Or you could just have like a little bit more interaction, right? You could have a third flash freeze. Like the, the frostbite cards are absolutely amazing. So you could have a third flash freeze, third kindly tavern keeper, for example. You could have like those kind of stuff there as well. Um, that you know, like that wouldn't be bad either. So that's that's another you know, like those are your couple options if you don't want to play Howling Abyss or you know, maybe just playing one Howling Abyss and third flash freeze. Maybe that's like the you know, maybe that's even if you you know, maybe that's just something to make it a little bit better, because you never need a second abyss but um it's nice having like a good amount of top end cards because sometimes you don't draw heimerdinger or feel the rush right so like if you don't draw those like what are you doing you you kind of need some other stuff to do and so like this isn't really that much top end because vi is not really like a top end card right like it's just a really good champion at controlling the board and getting you to the top end so right now we really basically have like seven top end cards with heimer feel the rush howling abyss and that's not too much you know you're going to need to you know once you start cutting that down like if you cut if you cut both Howling Abyss, now you're only looking at like five with Heimer and Field of Rush, and that that gets kind of difficult to always have game after game after game. Um, all right, so, but anyway, that's that's uh, the Heimer Abyss, pretty sweet deck here, and uh, yeah, I think I think we had like a bunch of stuff go wrong for that loss. Um, but again, another another powerful one. This could be another fun one to rank up. So those y'all on YouTube. Let me know. Give this deck a try and leave that feedback. You know, how was this deck? You know, like, did you know? Uh, were you having the same kind of success we had? Was there anything you were struggling with? You know, I love seeing that feedback from y'all trying out these decks um, over on YouTube. Uh, yeah, I really appreciate that. All right, so let me know. Uh, but anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.